All right, today we're gonna to dissect the kidney. You may have a sheep's kidney, which is a quite a bit smaller. I have a cow's kidney in front of me. You can see how big it is. It's my hand, my whole palm can, to, can fill this kidney. Our kidney is about the size of a fist, so this cow's kidney is bigger than our kidney. kidney. So you can see that it's kidney shaped, right? Hence the word kidney shaped. Uh, this would be the lateral portion. This would be the medial portion over here. I don't know which side is anterior or posterior because I don't know if this is a right or left kidney. Anyway, so this would sit in the body in the retroperitoneal space, retro for behind. This little notch here in the kidney, this little part right here where structures come in and out, this is called the hilus. It's also called the hilum. So if you wrote hilus, H-I-L-U-S, or hilum, H-I-L-U-M, either one would count. All right. And there are three structures here, two that exit it, the kidney and two that enter the kidney. Well, we know blood has to get to the kidney. If blood's going to come to the kidney, it's going to go to the kidney by an artery. An artery's gonna have a thick wall. So right here, we can see this structure right here, which is the renal artery. So the renal artery is one of the structures of the renal hilus. We also need a renal vein. If you remember, veins have thin walls. And we can see him right, right here, I think. That space right there. So that thin wall structure, and we're grabbing an Adsen or a pickup right here. So we can see that. So right there is the renal vein. You can see how thin the wall is compared to the renal artery. And think about again, why would a vein have a thinner wall than an artery? There's a big reason for it. All right, so the renal artery is going in. The renal vein is taking the deoxygenated vein blood back out eventually to get back to the right atrium of the heart. And we have one structure that's coming out of the kidney too, and this one, he's big on ours, and this would be the ureter. So here we have the ureter right here coming out of the kidney, a lot of periurital fat around it to protect it. And you can think about that epithelial lining of the ureter, it's the same as the urinary system. It starts with a T if you don't remember. All right, so the renal hilus, ureter exiting, renal artery entering, and the renal vein also exiting. If we look at the kidney itself, the outer part of it has a layer to it that I can't scratch off. It always reminds me of the outside of a hot dog. It's the same layer. This is called a renal capsule. So that outer thick layer that is not scratchable off the surface that holds everything together is a renal capsule. We're gonna do a coronal cut, all right? So be really careful on this. It's helpful to cut just slightly off our midline if you can figure out where our midline is. All right, so be very careful with your knife. Again, always cut away from your fingers. All right, we're gonna do a coronal cut. If you go midline, that's okay. All right. I'm going to turn it around, cut the other way again, so I'm always cutting away from my hand. The sharper knife you have, the easier it is, and our knives are not that sharp here. A small kidney it should be with a small sheep it should be a little easier I'm actually going to take my scissors and cut with the scissors a little bit paper towel again to wipe up some of the juice and get a better view of what is going on. All right, I'm going to cut this in half some more here. All 
And before I do that, we can actually see where the ureter is going to leave right here. Let's see if that's right. A second, make sure it's not the other hole I see over there, but it looks like it should be this one. I'm gonna put that in there and see if it comes out. There he is. All right, comes out the ureter. So that's exactly where urine would be leaving the kidney right there. Finish this up with the knife. Actually, I'm going to leave it like this for a second just because it's so pretty this direction. All right, so if we look at the kidney again, it has an outer renal capsule, and then the layer when you first come inside is the renal cortex. All right. The next layer, the middle layer, is the renal medulla, and the inner layer is the renal sinus. So these structures right here that look like a little pyramid are called that. These are the renal pyramids, and they're part of the medulla. And in between the renal pyramids, you can see a little bit of the cortex dipping down, and that part of the cortex dipping down is called the renal column. So urine is made in nephrons. Remember, nephrons is a functional unit of the kidney, and you have a million nephrons in each kidney. All right, there are two different types of nephrons, which you'll learn in physiology, but the nephrons will eventually dip down into this medulla right here, and at the end of a nephron, when it's done working, it makes urine. All the urine will collect here at the tip of a renal pyramid, and this tip is called the renal papilla. And if you remember, papilla means bump. The renal papilla, the urine will go into what's called a minor calyx. So right here, you would have a minor calyx. If I flip this over on this side, you can actually see the minor calyx right here. So urine would go from that renal papilla of the pyramid into the minor calyx. Minor calyx is joined together to form a major calyx, and all the major calyxes form the renal pelvis, and urine goes out the ureter. So let's finish cutting this in half, all right? I'm gonna cut straight down the middle. Right down through where that ureter will come out. All right, there we go. So we'll do this one more time, we're looking at it from this direction. All right, we have the pyramid so, you know, go back up here. Here is the renal cortex. This part here would be the renal medulla. In the renal medulla, the renal pyramids. Coming between the pyramids is the renal cortex, which is part of the, excuse me, the renal columns, which is part of the renal cortex. The tip of the pyramid is the papilla, the renal papilla. Urine then would go into the minor calyx right here. Minor calyx is joined together to form a major calyx and the major calyx makes the renal pelvis where urine would go out through the ureter. Now the kidney is actually fairly straightforward even for all the, all the amazing work that it does. Um, it does more than making urine. See if you can find out some of those things that it does. There's another view of the minor calyx right there where urine would go into. Minor calyx, major calyx, out into the renal pelvis, which I've cut through now, that would go out to the ureter. So that's a kidney. Again, dispose of everything carefully and be careful cleaning your instruments. Thank you.